A puppet government is a government whose actions and policies are controlled by a foreign power. Puppet governments have existed since ancient times. There are currently several puppet governments that control territory in both Europe and Asia. Puppet governments are illegal under international law. A puppet government is a government with no sovereign authority over its territory, whose actions and policies are controlled by a foreign power. Many puppet governments convey an image of sovereignty, but in reality, they cannot do anything without the consent of whichever foreign power controls them. Puppet governments have existed since ancient times and still exist today. For the most part, they are set up following conquest, after a foreign power conquers the area in which they set up a puppet government. Characteristics of a puppet government Foreign powers establish puppet governments mainly for three reasons. The first reason is to use the puppet government as a tool by which to control, or at least pacify, the people of the territory for which it is given jurisdiction. Oftentimes, this involves oppressive methods. In most cases, puppet governments are protected by the armed forces of the foreign power that establishes them. Alternatively, puppet governments sometimes establish their own security apparatus in order to take the burden of keeping the subject people in line away from the controlling foreign power. The second reason foreign powers establish puppet governments is to try and fool both the citizens under its control and the international community into believing that the territory runs its own affairs. Hence, a puppet government will use the national symbols of the country that it controls to make it look like it represents an independent nation-state. In addition, the members of the puppet government are usually people whose origins are from the territory it controls. In many cases, however, both the people that are the subjects of the puppet government and the international community do not recognize the puppet government's legitimacy. Indeed, puppet governments and puppet states are illegal under international law. The third reason that foreign powers set up puppet governments is so that they can advance their own agendas. Puppet governments help facilitate the agenda of the controlling foreign power by using the territory and resources of the puppet state. This can involve transferring the resources of the territory under the puppet government's jurisdiction to the controlling foreign power, or even using puppet government-controlled territory as a base from which to launch further conquests. Puppet Governments of the Past As previously mentioned, puppet governments have existed since ancient times. The Roman Empire, for example, established puppet governments in the territories that they conquered. More recently, during World War II, the Japanese had set up a puppet government in Manchuria, a region of northeastern China. After conquering the region, the Japanese installed the former emperor of China, Pui, who was of Manchurian descent, as the leader of the new state of Manchukuo. The new entity even had a flag of its own. But in practice, Manchukuo was a puppet state, and Pui was the leader of a puppet government under Japanese control. Much of the international community did not recognize the independence of Manchuria, as they saw the reality that it was no more than a puppet state of Japan. During the period in which Pui's puppet government was in power, the Japanese used the vast natural resources of Manchuria to fuel their war efforts and make further conquests. Puppet governments today Puppet governments are not just a phenomenon of the past. Several puppet governments exist in the world today. Russia, for example, has been accused of having puppet governments in Abkhazia and South Ossetia. These two territories are recognized by most of the international community as being part of the Republic of Georgia. In 2008, however, Russia sent military forces to occupy the two territories. Shortly thereafter, they declared the two territories to be independent countries with their own governments. In reality, though, these governments were set up by the Russians to legitimize their control over Georgian territory. Turkey also maintains a puppet government on the island of Cyprus. In theory, this government controls a sovereign state called the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. In practice, however, the government was installed by Turkey after its invasion of the northern part of Cyprus in 1974. For this reason, only Turkey recognizes the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, whereas the rest of the international community recognizes the Republic of Cyprus in the island's south as the only legitimate state on the island. Currently, there are several puppet governments in control of parts of Europe and Asia. These include puppet governments backed by Russia in Ukraine, Moldova, and Georgia, the Armenian-backed government in the Azerbaijani region of Nagorno-Karabakh, and the Houthi regime that presently controls most of Yemen and the Arabian Peninsula, which is supported by Iran the most and least fragile states. Each year, the Fund for Peace releases its Fragile States Index, which ranks nation-states all over the globe. The more fragile a state is, the more likely it is to collapse, while the least fragile states show stability and cohesion. Each state's fragility ranking is determined by a range of political, economic, demographic, geographic, and social factors. The most fragile states rank highest, while the least fragile states occupy the bottom of the list. This article highlights the four most fragile and four least fragile states according to the 2023 Fragile States Index Rankings. 
Number 1. Somalia Somalia, located in the Horn of Africa, has a population of about 12.7 million and has been an independent nation since 1960. Unfortunately, Somalia has been in near constant turmoil over the past 30 years and has been ranked the number one or number two most fragile state every year since 2008, with decades of ongoing civil war and factional violence. Somalia has a barely functioning central government that lacks control over large areas of the nation's territory. The economy is in shambles, social services are largely non-existent, and there are huge numbers of internal refugees seeking to escape violence. Sadly, Somalia is likely to be at or near the top of the FSI list for years to come. Number 2. Yemen Situated across the Gulf of Aden from the most fragile state, Somalia, Yemen is second on the FSI list because of an ongoing political crisis that has devolved into a destructive civil war. Positioned at the southern end of the Arabian Peninsula, Yemen has some of the most fertile land in the Middle East, yet is in the midst of a humanitarian crisis with mass starvation. Regional powers Saudi Arabia and Iran support opposite sides in the civil war, exacerbating the situation for everyday Yemenis. Yemen's economy has collapsed due to the civil war. If political stability can be restored, perhaps Yemen can rebound to its pre-2011 situation. 3. South Sudan One of the youngest widely recognized states on earth, South Sudan declared its independence in 2011 after decades of conflict as part of Sudan and eastern Africa. Sadly, independence has not brought stability to South Sudan, which has undergone several political reorganizations, coups, and civil war during its 12 years of existence. South Sudan has one of the world's least developed economies, which exacerbates the multiple refugee crises that the nation faces. While it can be difficult to find positives in South Sudan's current situation, its population of 12 million is one of the youngest in the world, which opens the possibility of future economic growth if political stability can be established. Number 4. Democratic Republic of the Congo the Democratic Republic of the Congo, not to be confused with the neighboring Republic of the Congo, takes up a huge swath of Central Africa, it is the second largest nation on the continent and the 11th largest on earth. Formerly called Zaire, the DRC also has one of Africa's largest populations, at 112 million. Despite its size and population, however, the DRC has been among the top eight most fragile states in the FSI rankings every year since at least 2006. On the positive side, the DRC is rich in natural resources, but political instability and economic mismanagement have plagued the nation since its independence from Belgium in 1960. Least fragile states While fellow Nordic nations Iceland and Finland make it a close competition, Norway earns the crown as the least fragile state on earth according to the 2023 FSI rankings. A long, thin, mountainous nation along the western coast of the Scandinavian peninsula, Norway shares a long border with Sweden and shorter borders with Finland and Russia. Like other Nordic countries, Norway enjoys a robust economy that provides generous social welfare benefits to its 5.5 million residents. Large offshore oil and natural gas deposits contribute greatly to Norway's economy, but it has continued to diversify and grow in recent years. It is very likely that Norway will be in the least fragile competition for a long time to come. New Zealand, made up of two larger islands and over 700 smaller islands in the southwestern Pacific Ocean, is one of the most geographically isolated nations on Earth. With a population of just over 5 million, New Zealand has one of the lowest population densities on the planet as well. That said, New Zealand has ranked number 169 or above in the FSI rankings every year since 2007, making it one of the most stable nations on Earth. New Zealand ranks particularly high in factors such as human rights, state legitimacy, external intervention, and public services. The nation's economy continues to grow and diversify, and it is likely that New Zealand will maintain a least fragile status for years to come. Finland Starting with Finland, the three least fragile states on the FSI rankings are Nordic countries in Northern Europe. While not technically part of Scandinavia, Finland shares many cultural similarities with its Scandinavian neighbors Sweden and Norway, the latter being the least fragile state according to FSI. Finland also borders Russia, causing the potential for instability, but otherwise the nation is a model for social stability and trust in government. The nation set aside its long-standing policy of neutrality in 2022-2023 to join NATO in the wake of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Finland's 5.6 million residents enjoy a robust market economy and generous social services, making them some of the happiest citizens in the world. Iceland Iceland is a Nordic nation along with Finland, Norway, Denmark, and Sweden, but it is an island located in the North Atlantic between Europe and North America. Due to its isolation, Iceland's people engaged largely in agriculture and fishing until the 1950s, but the economy has rapidly modernized and grown in recent decades. Despite having one of the smallest populations among independent states, Iceland now boasts one of the highest standards of living among all nations, with exceptional rankings for safety, political stability, and citizen satisfaction. 
As befitting Iceland's political stability, its legislature, the Althing, has existed for over 1,000 years and is considered the oldest in the world. According to the 2023 FSI rankings, three of the four most fragile states are located in sub-Saharan Africa, while three of the four least fragile states are Nordic nations in Europe. Factors like geography and history, particularly histories of colonialism and resource exploitation, obviously play a large role in state fragility. Unfortunately, most states in the most fragile category seem likely to remain there for the foreseeable future, since there is relatively little change in the rankings year to year.